Welcome back to day 17 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're going old school with Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the 1973 version. No, get those lights off! Off! Now, I know what you're thinking. A made-for-TV movie from the 70s, how scary can that be? But let me tell you, this one sneaks up on you with a slow, creepy dread that's way more affected than you expect. The plot follows Sally, who moves into an old, creepy house with her husband. Of course! Of course! It's always the old house. Naturally, there's a locked up basement, and when she opens it, all hell breaks loose. She starts seeing these tiny creatures that live in the shadows, and these little bastards have one goal, to drag her into their hellish underworld. What sets Don't Be Afraid of Dark apart from other horror movies is that it doesn't rely on gore or over-the-top scares. This is all about atmosphere and psychological horror. It's the kind of film when you start questioning whether Sally's losing her mind or these creepy creatures are actually real. Back to the creatures. They're not your typical monsters. These little goblin looking freaks have misshapen weird ass heads that look like someone tried to sculpt a face and gave up halfway through. What is it with you anyway? Somebody drop you on your fucking head? Their peanut shaped domes and beady eyes make them unsettling in a way that's both creepy and a bit ridiculous. They whisper things like, come to us. And honestly, those whispers are enough to make you want to turn on all the lights in your house. The special effects are dated, sure, but there's a charm in how these creatures are brought to life with practical effects. It's simple yet effective, and it sticks with you. It's the kind of horror that creeps under your skin and lingers. Even though it's a made-for-TV movie, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark manages to create an eerie atmosphere that really holds up. The creatures may look silly at first glance, but the persistence and the psychological toll they take on Sally make the film a hidden gem in the horror genre. It's a slow burn, but one that pays off in pure nightmare fuel. So if you're into psychological horror that leaves you feeling uneasy after the credits roll, give this one a shot. Just be ready to question every shadow in your house. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.